All right, well, I am quite surprised when it comes down to Larissa and Shay Johnson. There is beef in the air right now with these two used-to-be besties on Flavor of Love who switched over to Charm School and had each other's back through their childish antics. And now we have them kind of going at each other in regards to a Zeus Network suggestion from the Formation Productions, which was simply that we might want to see Shay Johnson and Larissa on the conversation to hash out their issues. Now, as we know, the conversation has not done anything to hash out anybody's problems, simply brought people head to head in order to continue their beef and shenanigans. And so I feel like the show is unsuccessful in what it is trying to give. But obviously, I'm not the only one who feels that way. Uh, Shay Johnson expressed that she was definitely not going on that show to sit down with Boots, also known as this one, the one Larissa. Okay, Uh, she is very, very confrontational. She still is very upset as well, honey. It's the mad for me. These females be really, really upset. They be mad. They be just... I'm talking about in a whole feeling, honey, okay? And about other women, I can't do it. I just can't do it. I got a couple stalkers that's in their feelings about me, a couple of pages on YouTube that's in their feelings about me, and I just can't put two and two together to figure out how you even give a damn that hard because I don't give a damn about you. And that's how I would feel. Now, one thing I can say is that I feel like boots need a bag, honey. And Larissa... You need a bag, baby, because you ain't doing nothing but selling your stuff, flat tummy tea stuff. But, I'm sorry, Shay. Shay is selling her flat tummy tea stuff. But Shay has something over Larissa, which is that she has recently been on a couple of TV shows unlike uh, Larissa, a.k.a. Boots. And so her bag might be a little more brand new than Shay's. I'm sorry, than Lord these two you can't help but get them mixed up shay's bag might be a little bit more brand new than boots is what i was trying to say boots really messed up in the industry when she came for monique and uh sharon osborne who i believe is completely r-a-c-i-s-t but hey it is what it is anyway let me play these two lives from this lady i will have extended commentary for this video on my channel, T Hive Movie Night. Be right back, or I'll, matter of fact, I'll see you over there. Here's their videos right now. <laughs> we gotta find. They said something on Zeus. Hell no! <laughs> the fuck I'm going there for? People want to do some content. <laughs> so, no, they said something about um something on Zeus. I hope they ain't talking about that sit down bullshit. Sit down with who? I ain't got nobody to sit down with. Half these people want to sit down with me. I ain't seen or talk to them in ten years. I don't even know why they mentioned my name, and it'll never happen. Never. Go buy my detox and detox that negative energy out of you, bitch. T H E R. I don't know why. Yeah. yeah. Moo. I want to do the moo dance. Moo. T H E. How am I doing? I'm doing wonderful. I miss my dog. I dropped my dog off to my dad. And I don't think my dad gonna try to give me my dog back. <laughs> he was too excited to see Lulu. Oh, I missed you so much. Don't get too comfortable, Daddy. I'm coming back to get my son. Yeah. Big facts on the detox. What are you telling? Ain't nobody got time for these goofy bitches mentioning my name and I ain't seen or heard from you in 10 years. And you trying to catch some type of shine out here by saying I'm mad at Shay for some dumbass reason. Bitch, I'm not giving you that. You better figure it out, figure out life, go get a job, start a business, do something, because it ain't going to ever happen over here with Shay. Watching you work. <laughs> and that'd be the problem. They all on my page looking at me, they get mad. Oh, this is Why are you mad at me? Because you sitting on your ass and can't figure it out. So now you want to, it's just the weirdest shit ever. You never mention nobody, never talk about nobody, ain't seen these people in years. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, 10 years later, I don't like that bitch. She's a bitch. She's a bitch. And I'm like, that's how they the do. fuck just happened? That's how they do. Like, that's some serious bipolar insecurities you got going on over there. You need beyond help, bitch. You need to be in an institution. Mm -hmm. You ain't been around me, ain't seen me in years and mentioning, like, that is weird. Mm -hmm. Weirdos. I don't sit around weirdos. I keep it moving. So when I pull these pins out, 
I'm trying to like, 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 they like clean fanny, like clean how to clean see. I don't need any show to make me relevant, baby. I trend every day. Google it, baby. We don't know any taglines that are trending of you. You whack bitch. And it's and we have mutual friends, so why the fuck are you on motherfucking Instagram with your punk ass? I'm so tired of these punk ass bitches. This bitch is in her 40s, y'all. Talking shit online in her motherfucking 40s. Bitch, are you serious? But when I see you, you talking another tune. You a punk ass bitch selling wolf tickets. That's what the fuck you doing, bitch. Either bust the move or shut the fuck up. Because at this point, I'm fucking tired. I'm really fucking tired of these weak hoes and this new reality shit. And what I mean by new reality shit is all these hoes out here who think, oh, let me make a fake storyline. Let me start some beef with this bitch. Bitch, if I wasn't the clout, your ass wouldn't even be mentioning anything about me. You, you feeling so inferior, honey. I would be jealous as I was you too. I wouldn't do the conversation if I was you too, bitch. But let's make it very clear. Larissa never asked you to. Larissa, Larissa has not even mentioned it on her page anywhere. So get your fucking facts straight and stop going online lying on my motherfucking top, bitch. You weak hoe. You have nothing going for yourself. Nothing. Nothing. I'm tired, y'all. Let me see if people want it. So, we, yeah, we gonna bust it out. Because I'm fucking tired, you guys. I'm tired of people fucking with me. They mad because I'm living my motherfucking life. And I'm just tired of these weak hoes. This shit is old already. Bitch, when you saw me, you had nothing to say. So keep it that way. When I checked your ass last time online, you saw me, didn't say nothing. Keep the shit like that. Stop coming out here selling wolf tickets to everybody. Stop being a punk bitch telling our mutual friend, oh, I don't want no smoke. I don't want any problems. I'm not in that space in my life. And boom, here go a video with your punk ass. I'm tired, y'all. This shit's old and raggedy. Like I said, bust the move or shut the fuck up. Period. Okay? Bitches, bitches want to be on the conversation so bad. That they try to play these little games and manipulative ways of saying it online. Oh, I didn't say that. You did all that wolf talking, ho. Because you're trying so hard to get on. Because them checks is dried up like your wigs. Like I said, detox that pussy, ho, from all the merry dicks that's been up in you. That's why you can't have no fucking kids, you evil bitch. You will never be motherfucking blessed. You raggedy hoe. That's why you so fucking jealous. Don't nobody go on your raggedy ass page. I don't even know your motherfucking tag hoe. Lying to all these people. Go on and sell them wolf tickets if you want to, bitch. Because me and you both know. You have plenty of ways to get a hold of me, hoe. And I have yet got a phone call. You pass messages like a weak hoe. Just like you got ran out of Miami. And was begging our mutual friend for fucking help, bitch. Because you be doing shit for TV. Because you're a weak hoe. You will never be amount to the real bitch that I am. And that's why you're mad. And you're a jealous hoe. And I'd be jealous as I was you too, hoe. You've been sitting around here not doing shit. It's always motherfucking quality over quantity with me, hoe. You could be on a million shows, hoe. You wouldn't be able to amount to me. Fucking catch up, bitch. Tired of this shit. I'm so tired. Exactly, she's not. And I'm just tired of these random ass videos that she want to do with her punk ass okay. and lying. Hey. hey. <laughs> so, yeah, they said what are wolf tickets? <laughs> Look. That's when somebody bark. They trying to sell y'all a fake, a fake bark, basically. She acting what? like she with that life and she not. That's what that means. She trying to sell y'all that. That's what wolf tickets mean. Selling she selling y'all wolf tickets and I'm fucking tired. It's fucking Scorpio season, bitch. I know you okay. want I know you know I look cute, ho. I don't need Hello. TV to look cute. Family. You've been on you've been on how many seasons now? And you still look raggedy. Mm -hmm. Don't be mad. But I'd be mad if I was you too, ho. You know I don't need that show. And your punk ass go on the internet. She wanna do it with years. she wants to do it with you, but you know at the end of the day she can't fuck with you and she knows. She that can't too. fuck with so you. So she's confused. She'll get embarrassed. She'll get embarrassed. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So keep detoxing yourself with them from the slave workers and, and that them Chinese shit. And, yeah, detox your pussy from all the merry dicks before you fuck with me. And keep selling mm -hmm. them wolf tickets. I'm tired of your raggedy ass. You have no fucking life at all. Big baby, yeah. I got plenty of life. Because every time you talk a shit online and I respond, it take me a minute. You know why? Because I got a life. I'm doing shit. That's why. Yeah. I don't post all my shit online. I don't need to. My spot is solidified on who I am. I don't need TV to solidify me, bitch. That's the only thing you keep talking. But but guess what I said? You sitting up here trying real hard to get on Zeus. You trying real hard, baby. Trying real hard. 
Yeah, you to lie on a bitch, that's sad. You need mental help for you to lie. I'm a real bitch. Yeah, lying. She, she, she want to be on Zeus. Hmm? She want to be on Zeus with you. That's why she said that shit. She a dumb bitch. She dumb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She dumb, but she don't want to mention how she told the mutual friend, "I don't want, I don't want any beef with anybody. I don't have beef with anybody." Um, tell Larissa that I don't have beef with nobody. I'm not in that space. This is after the last time I checked her online when she didn't yeah. respond. Remember that? Then I saw her in person with this mutual friend. I know y'all who keep them receipts know what I'm telling the motherfucking truth. Bitch, you didn't yeah. have nothing to say. So why are you talking about anything and then you not even getting your facts straight, baby? You're not mm-hmm. getting your facts straight because you're feeling inferior. I feel yeah. inferior if I was you too. I would. She knows she, know she can't fuck with a big dog. That's what she, it is. She can't fuck with the big dogs, baby. Mm-hmm. She can't. She acting like she's somebody. She ain't no motherfucking body. Nobody. Yeah. You, you couldn't even use your own motherfucking name to get on. You had to get fucked by a couple of niggas and, and be a side bitch to get on. Mm-hmm. So let's stop. Let's stop with the shenanigans. Like, seriously. I wouldn't do the conversation with me either because you'll get embarrassed and fucked up. Stop playing. Mm-hmm. Stop playing. Yeah. Because you tried to throw in the white flags, and I wake up this a year and a half ago, and I wake up to you talking shit with your punk ass. When you, mm-hmm. when you have ways of getting a hold of me. But you selling all these wolf tickets because you a weak bitch. Only weak bitches do shit like that. You can get a hold of me any type of way. Any type yeah. of way. To that mutual friend that we have, if she asks for the number, give it to the bitch. I'm tired mm-hmm. of this raggedy ass shit. I I'm think tired y'all should. I think y'all should do the conversation. Stop giving her uh, free her. clout. Fuck no, her. not no. I'm, I'm not saying. giving her no motherfucking clout. I'm all the clout. I'm all the clout. I trend yeah. every day, every day with my taglines. What taglines is she trending with? None. What what yeah. taglines? She robbing. I'm Batman, baby. Robin, sit his ass down and shut the fuck up. And that's what the all fuck right. she need to continue to do. Robin. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm tired of this fake shit. That's why I don't like reality TV nowadays. Because they do fake shit like this. Now that she, mm-hmm. that she didn't pimp their family out and done everything that she been doing, now she done ran out of what to do. Mm-hmm. Now she trying to play with me and act like and act like I'm the one bringing it up. Bitch, did nobody ever say nothing about no fucking conversation. You mad because my name still ring bells, ho. And that yeah. let me know. That let me know that they running down your timeline with with my motherfucking name. That's what that lets me know. Absolutely. So look, Zeus cut the checks and she won't well, shine said, so bad. They said, it's the Batman for me. Hello, I'm Batman. Mm-hmm. She's robbing. She needs to sit her ass down and shut the fuck up. Every mm-hmm. scene I've been in, that bitch standing in the background. Yeah. Bitch, sit down. Look, I could give what you What tagline that bitch didn't have? And she's okay. sitting up here acting like, oh, I wouldn't give her this. Bitch, you couldn't give me shit. My name ring bells, baby. Hello. <laughs> like I said last time, you don't want to fuck with me. Because if I really came on the scene, scene, you wouldn't have a job. But look, I'm too late for that hole because checks that you still don't have a job. Right. I guess she needs you to give her her next job. That's what she's doing. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I'm the wrong bitch to fuck with. Yeah. I'm the wrong one. It's Larissa the one, bitch. Yeah. It's Larissa the one. Absolutely. Next time, bitch, you could at me. Stop being a weak asshole. Mm-hmm. You, got my, you could get my number from the mutual friend you was begging to tell me shit. Throwing in a white flag from last time. And then you did see me in 2020, you weak-ass bitch. I'm Hello. so tired of these lying assholes. I am so tired of it. But, bitch, you're not going to ruin my birthday. My birthday month. Y'all, my birthday's November 4th. I'm so excited. My birthday's in two days, you guys. We're going to turn up. So, bitch, keep Scorpio watching. Season. Keep watching. It's Scorpio season. Look, mm-hmm. lots more for you to hate on. Lots more for you to keep watching. Oh, you know, because you, you know, you know she, said, she said you watch her page all day. I don't even know her tag. Why would I watch mm-hmm. your page? You don't have nothing going on. There's, you don't, You are nothing to look at, sweetie. You're so delusional. You wish I was looking at your page. You're trying so hard to get on Zeus. Because mm-hmm. VH1 and threw your ass by the wayside. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And all the merry dicks then fucked your whole uterus up, bitch. Mm. Yeah. I would hate I would hate me, too. I have three beautiful children. Catch up. Okay. Why you sitting over here talking shit? Like, I ain't doing shit with my life. Bitch, I'm doing plenty, and that's what you're so inferior about. Mm-hmm. My, mine was yours, and be a good person. Stop being an evil-ass bitch and worried about what the fuck I'm fucking doing and making up lies, ho. You a weak ho. At least come online and say some truth. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of these fake bitches. And you didn't even say lies. shit about her. Fake, 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 fake. Keep selling them wolf tickets, ho. Because everybody knows when I saw you, you had nothing to say. You didn't say nothing online. You didn't say nothing in person in 2020, baby. Yeah. Why you over here lying? Saying okay. you ain't seen somebody in 10 years, you fake bitch. And that's why I don't fuck with you. 
40s. That bitch like 43 years old. Don't let that bitch fool you. That bitch 43. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Sitting up online talking all this shit that don't even add up. Bitch, I already know after this live, blogs is going to pull out the receipts on your ass. They know mm-hmm. I see in 2020. And your ass didn't pop shit. So either bust the move or shut the fuck up. Because I'm tired. Right. I'm tired. Of the fake shit. You got ran out of Miami, was begging our mutual friend to tell his friend, and you know who I'm talking about, to, to help you out. And that it was just a show because you fake. Mm-hmm. Scary ass bitch. I'm just tired of all of the fake shit. All of the Instagram shit. All of the selling wolf tickets ass shit. I'm tired. Mm-hmm. Big ass bitch. These hoes be so motherfucking jealous. And so inferior of bitches like me because they know my life doesn't revolve off of reality television, baby. I've been living my life. And I'm going to continue to while you watch. Period. Okay? My babies are big, aren't they? Aren't they? Don't you wish you had some? Mm. Hating ass bitch. Yeah, I'm just tired. God don't like ugly. They said she looked older than... Hey, Kiki, look, Ben Hur, she was in her 40s. Exactly, she is in her 40s. She lies about her age. She's like 43. Mm-hmm. That is Jalen. Mm-hmm. Y'all know I'm gonna be here. Yeah, exactly. But I just have to get that off my chest, y'all, and I gotta check a couple bitches, too, in a couple of blog comments. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. I got time today. It's Scorpio season. Y'all know we fuck shit up. Don't play with us. I'm still gonna have fun, bitch. You ain't gonna ruin Scorpio season, you whack ass bitch. Hmm. Shit. When my hairline come out, ho, I'm gonna throw a couple bundles on your bald head ass. <laughs> That's what she needs. <laughs> That's exactly what she needs. Mm hmm. Exactly. I'm just tired mm-hmm. of this shit. I'm tired, y'all. Y'all know this shit is so old and raggedy. It's like, why even say anything now, ho? Because she she wanna she wanna do it with you, but she don't at the same time. Because it's like, damn, you know, she know that you will give her the clout. She tell me she's not gonna give you, but she know that you will she give it to no her. Clout. She has no but, clout. But she, she know you will give it to her, but at the same time, she know that uh, you know you gonna check me that ass. Oh, absolutely. I would like I said, I wouldn't do it with me neither. Yeah. This Scorpio will sting the fuck out of you, bitch. Don't play. Mm-hmm. She know. And that's she why know. that's why she's trying to make it look play these manipulative tactics by selling yeah. wolf tickets by saying, oh, she was saying this, she was that, bitch, I ain't said shit. Where the fuck you hear that at? Where you see that at, you lying ass bitch? You mad mm-hmm. because your timeline obviously is getting ran up and you're mad and you're jealous. All right, you ain't I'm, a legend, I'm a legend in this game, bitch. You wouldn't be able to compare to that. That's why you and bitches like you are jealous because I don't have to do any more shows. My name rings bells, honey. They know who I am. It's not an insult that I haven't been on TV for over 10 years. I'm a legend. I don't have to be. I don't have mm. to be. You couldn't say the same. You're just the bitch that stood on the sideline. Robin. Right. She was just around. You know why she ain't Boring ass. Though. She's boring as fuck. And that's why she's jealous. I'd be jealous if I was you too, bitch. I run circles around you at every level. Every level. Mm. You a punk bitch. Stop going online. Bust the move or shut the fuck up. Because at this point, it's old and it's tired. Mm-hmm. Like, really? Ain't y'all tired of this shit? I am. I was shocked when I found out she was talking shit. I was like, really? But then again, I wasn't. Yeah, it's old. Bust the move and shut the fuck up. They talk shit and then, you know, go run. But see, that's why she lied on Instagram and said that. That's why she lied and said she hadn't seen me because she don't want to look like the punk that she is. You saw me, bitch. You saw me. And you did nothing. Just like you said nothing last time I checked your raggedy ass. You little fucking roach. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just sick of these little ugly assholes. I'm sick of it. She has nothing else to say about me. So she made shit up and I'm tired. It's Scorpio season. I'm still turning up. Baby, you can keep watching from your fake page. Because I know you're watching, honey. I know I look wonderful, don't I? Don't I? What Halloween costume did you have, bitch? Were you yourself? Yeah. Were you, uh... Were you King Kong, ho? <laughs> you raggedy bitch. Yeah, I know you saw my cute little Halloween costume, so I know you're watching now. You're such a weak bitch. 
You're so weak. When I see bitches that have to lie, they have to be, they need to be in a fucking asylum. Bitch, you're a stalker. You are a stalker and you're a liar. Be a real bitch for once and say what it is. And you better pray to God because God don't, don't play about me. You better pray to God that you don't get cursed again. Mm. You raggedy hoe. I can't stand bitches like her. Mm -mm. Look at, uh, hey Malik, he said, he said King Kong. Yeah, because she looked like that in the face. Look at her. I guess that's why she thinks she a star, y'all. Just because she was the star on Planet of the Apes, she thinks that she's a star. Y'all give you that, girl. You did real good on Planet of the Apes. <laughs> you did okay. real good on Planet of the Apes, honey. You sure did. So you get auntie hairstyles and she used pack weed. Okay, yes, yes. No, I'm not talking about pumpkin, y'all. <laughs> That's what I was looking at. But yeah, they be, these people get hyped up until they really... Yeah, not yeah, that's what she did. But see, uh -huh. where she made the mistake was when she started lying. You know what I mean? And she did that because she wants to do the conversation. Don't let that bitch fool you. Nobody said anything about no fucking conversation. That bitch went online and started lying. Oh, I wouldn't even do it with her. No, you wouldn't do it with me, bitch, because you're weak. You a weak hoe, and I never asked you to do the conversation with me, you dumbass bitch. You so thirsty for any clout that you could fucking get, bitch, because you're washed up. You've been washed up. You got kicked to the fucking curb, and now you're looking for your next motherfucking gig. I wouldn't fuck with a Scorpio neither. You whack-ass bitch. But yeah, who's Francine? It's from Arthur. It's one of the other people from Arthur. Look, she look like all them little ass characters. <laughs> Somebody said I get yeah. up in this stuff. Hello. And like I told y'all, and like all of y'all know on my page, I don't mention any of these hoes. Every time a bitch say something about me, I'm responding. And I'm fucking tired at this point. I'm tired of bitches saying, oh, she wants the clout. How the fuck I want clout, bitch, when I am the clout? And when you're speaking up on me. Get the fuck out of here. Next time, put a tag on it, ho. You know my okay. tag. Stop being a punk bitch. Matter of fact, have our mutual friend call me. Or yeah. give, give my number to that bitch. Yeah. Tell our mm -hmm. mutual friend, you can have my number, bitch. You such a weak asshole. You go online selling all these wolf tickets, you whack bitch. Stop feeling inferior, ho, and get your shit together. Detox your motherfucking wound from all the married dicks you didn't sat on. You whack bitch. That's why you curse for life. And that's why you can't have no fucking kids, you whack asshole. And you're going to continue to be fucking cursed. Because you are an evil ass bitch. And as long as you continue to motherfucking lie on people, your ass is going to be cursed. So run, tell that bitch. And what the fuck you been doing in your life up until now. That's the reason why you really can't have no fucking kids, you raggedy roach. I'm a ship to that. <laughs> now I gotta go cook some motherfucking spaghetti, y'all. Cause I have a life. Mm -hmm. And I got kids. So y'all, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go cook some spaghetti. And me and Jalen gonna start talking shit. Okay. On the phone. Mm -hmm. Look, so like I said, y'all see anything else? Let that bitch know. Bust the mover, shut the fuck up, and to get my number from the mutual friend. Cause I'm tired mm -hmm. of this Instagram bullshit. Okay? Yeah. Toodles. Absolutely. Do this. Negra has hit us with the people digital cover, honey, that she is not only pregnant, but that she is pregnant with twins. Now, as we know, she recently suffered a miscarriage on the TV show Love and Hip Hop Miami, and she seemed to be devastated that her and her new boyfriend could not conceive that baby. She was also devastated by the fact that right after she had the miscarriage, her father up and left without even saying goodbye, but instead leaving her a bouquet of flowers and a note in which she was very upset and threw those flowers to the ground. Now it seems that she is living her dream because she is about to become a mother of two. She recently posted this digital cover on her Instagram and she said, I'm pregnant. I'm going to be a mom, all pregnant, all pregnant. All pregnant, natural with twins. All pregnant, I'm pregnant with twins, all natural. Then she goes on to thank People Magazine. 
And she is looking absolutely gorgeous. And you can definitely tell that she is carrying. As we all know, these girls have gotten BBWs and snatched by the waist. So it's easy to tell nowadays. Not only that, but she also posted this ultrasound with a clear blue uh, pregnancy test, which is supposed to be one of the most accurate pregnancy tests that there is out there. She said, I'm so excited to finally share that we have twins on the way. Thank you, Clear Blue, for being a part of our journey and giving me the most amazing news. There is nothing better than seeing the word pregnant. Even though I'm scared and nervous, especially after having a miscarriage, I am also excited and have a roller coaster of emotions, but it truly is a blessing. Clear Blue confirmed, Clear Blue partner, Rainbow Baby. So in case you guys don't know what the Rainbow Babies are, Rainbow Babies are babies that you conceive after you have a miscarriage. And that is beautiful. She's been taking a lot of pictures. These pictures are absolutely gorgeous, natural, in the jungle type of pictures, um, of the earth type of pictures. Uh, she says, thank you, Lord, for my children. You are in control and only you know my heart. This is the biggest blessing you could have ever given me. Oh, Chun, my womb has been blessed. That is absolutely beautiful. That one almost made me cry. The way that she words things sometimes is so prolific and just so deep. That one almost sent me over the edge because I know what she's been through. I know it hurt her feelings. So then she posted with her mother who at one point was not in uh, support of her being pregnant and having children in the middle of her career and not with the guy that she had conceived her children by. Um, and now she is there to support her child after they went through that first debacle with the first baby. She says, I will protect my children by all means necessary. I am a warrior for my babies. I am a strong woman and I learned it from my mother, the one and only who never leaves my side. My mother, mama, na la mama one, mommy, I can't say that word. Thank you for protecting me and being my eyes. I wouldn't be able to do this without you, my guardian angel. I love you so much. And you can see mom is over here on the side making sure that she looks out for Amara. They really do have a beautiful relationship. And Amara really is lucky to have her mother. Very unfortunate what happened with the father. Said, mother, please guide me. Bless us. And I believe that her mother is going to teach her how to be a mother to those children. I'm glad that she has someone she can trust. This is absolutely beautiful. And this picture is almost like she is ushering her into a door of another side of life. And this is absolutely beautiful. She's going to just continue on her journey of life, being a great mom, which is absolutely mother uh, beautiful. She says, from mother to mother in this picture, Again, congratulations to Amara LaNegra. Absolutely wonderful and happy for her. I was so sad to see where she was in her journey with motherhood uh, on the show. And it's glad that she is able to share this with us. However, she does share that she's currently single. Love and Hip Hop was filmed months ago. So there's things that you guys may see on the next episode that that is no longer happening. That is no longer there but um but i am single am i ready to mingle probably not right now or shit why not fuck it let go on it and i'm like you know what i keep it moving on mine like who said you have to wait you better not come over right now shit i'm about to go to sleep but definitely have to come over so we can talk but I am single. Later on, maybe I'll be ready to mingle. But I feel like, so here's my thing. I feel like once you finish a relationship, who says there a guidebook? Is there a book? Is there something that says that you have to wait a certain period of time? Como que somebody died? Why I gotta wait? Why I gotta wait? Why do I have to wait? When for the most part that other person is probably already fucking, and that's and that's usually for women. A lot of people have all these stigmas and all this pressure for women when it comes to like breakups. When you break up with somebody, you have to take your time, and you have to just sit there and be depressed and cry and be like, "Oh my God, the world is over, and nobody's ever gonna love me again." 
and you're supposed to like marinate in your mind of all the things that could have been and aren't. Blah, 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 blah. And in the meantime, the other person already fucking sticking their dick already in somebody else all the way blah, 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 deep down in their throat. And don't say, why I gotta be over here? Oh my god, they're and stuff. No! What problem solution? That shit is over. Keep it pushing. Next. Yeah. We weren't born together. We're not family. Nothing like that. Why you have to be over here to get sad and dying and falling apart while everybody else is sucking dick and fucking eating ass? I don't get it. So me personally, no. If I break up with someone, if I break up with someone, if I break up with somebody, not if somebody broke up with me. If somebody broke up with me, maybe I'll be hurt for like two days, three days. Maybe if I really loved you, like a week. Oh my God, I'm so, oh, the world is falling apart. I can't believe this shit happened. All right, cool, next. So what are we going to do? Because life goes on. Life goes on. People sitting over here getting depressed and letting their life go by and all this shit while this other person's already fucking and fucking ass and dick and doing whatever the fuck it is that they're doing and they probably weren't already doing it while they were with you. Mira, keep pushing. That's why I love me some J-Lo. Jennifer Lopez doesn't have time for that shit, and I admire her for it. Jennifer Lopez doesn't have time for that shit, and I admire her for it. Problem, solution. And you recycle them if you want. Yo, I did it you five years ago. You still staying over in that I remember the way you ate my ass. Wow, let's go back. Yeah. Live your life. Everybody's so busy trying to be perfect and trying to, como, como te digo, like, live this life with somebody else. So that you can fit for somebody else. And the world and society doesn't see you thinking you're a whore. I don't give a fuck if you, I don't, I don't care what you think. First of all, first of all, if you think some type of way about me, that sounds like a personal problem to me. Because I think, I think perfect about me. I don't have a problem with me. If you have a problem with me, that sounds like a personal problem to, that's personal. That's your problem, not you. That's your problem. That's not mine. I feel fine. Oh, I think you're a bitch. I think you're a whore. What am I more? You have the rest to think. That's why you have a brain. Use it. Dale, go think. Pero me, I'm living my life. I'm young, I'm beautiful, I'm successful, I'm a bad bitch. I can suck, I can suck hell a day. My pussy's tight. the fuck? I made my own money, I don't depend off anybody. I'm a good daughter, I'm a good friend. Why the fuck I have to be over here to get depressed? They go, oh, my life is gonna fall apart for anybody. No, no, no. I wasn't born stuck to anybody. I was born by myself. Thank God my mom put me by myself. But that's it. Fuck out of here. No, no, no. Who the fuck is doing this now? And I really love you, whatever, whatever. And you broke, if you broke up with me, usually if I break up with somebody, that means that I've already been, been over you. Because I'm a Libra, first of all. I'm a Libra. I'm out of a peace and love to the universe. I'm a fixer. That's why I be trying to, you know, fix a nigga. Okay. So. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, it seems like a Marla Negra is not pregnant by this man. That remains to be confirmed. So I did think that she was pregnant by the guy that she's currently with on the show. I did see him posting some things about her property. So it seemed like they're, they were still together. I don't know if that was just to throw off um, the public. But apparently she says F those ties in that bond. She hate people who be acting big loyal but do snake stuff. The longer you entertain what's not for you, the longer you po- po- postpone what is for you. My problem was I wanted to take people to the top with me who didn't even want me at the top. You flexing and I'm living. See the difference? You trying to impress and I'm trying to progress. The focus is different. I like you need to start a conversation by saying, don't cancel me, but then you're in the right place. Don't cancel me with Amara La Negra. All right, awesome. Okay, so thank you so much, Amara La Negra, for that update because, of course, we wanted to know that. Now, as far as her being single and ready to mingle, Girl, you are very pregnant. Just go, nobody, I don't know a man that's going to be sitting up in 2021 uh, trying to raise your newborn twins with you, and they're, they're not his. This is 2021. It's not in the 1990s where it was actually men like that. Not that I've seen. Not that I can see. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just being a little too harsh on the guys. I don't know, but... It's been a struggle out here. All I'm saying is struggle boat, okay? As far as dating, there's nothing out here or else you would have a man already. And maybe she does. Maybe she has a new man and we don't know who he is. So that all remains to be seen. But in the meantime, 
I'm very grateful and happy that Amara Lenegra is able to move on with her life. I think her rant was a little long about moving on and somebody else, you know, move, has already moved on. I think she's a little embarrassed by it. And so she kind of overcompensated um, with that. You know, she came out with another relationship that didn't work, didn't even make it on the show for, you know, the entire season. So I think, you know, by her warning us and by her uh, ranting about it, I think that indicates a little bit of embarrassment in my eyes. I don't expect Amara Lenegra to be talking in the manner in which she was just talking, which is kind of concerning and made me feel like she's definitely embarrassed about the situation. But hey, sometimes that happens. I'm not mad at you, Amara. Not at all. All right, Kirk Franklin's son, Carry On Franklin. I have some exclusive tea that I have from one of his exes that I'm going to be spilling on my Patreon for next week's upload. So please make sure you guys head over to my Patreon. It will be on the $35 tier um, if she agrees to speak um, through audio as I'm discussing with her right now. And if she just wants to tell me the story and let me tell it, it will be on my $20 uh, tier. Okay. All right, guys, let's talk about carry on. Unfortunately, he's been getting attacked left and right. He believes that his father is trying to take him off of social media because his channel has been getting reported. I will say that I have been catching his live videos on social media. He hasn't been doing really too much, uh, other than talking about his dad in a negative way and that he is a survivor of narcissist parents. All right, so he's been in the studio a lot lately, as you guys can see. But then they go and they say, your account may be deleted, some of your posts. You guys have seen this on social media before, okay? He says, I bet this makes my father happy. Now, one thing that I was upset about was that he kept bringing up his dad and everything negative that happens to him. And these are called distorted thoughts. These are actually things that can be looked up in uh, um, any type of mental health uh, or psychology book or website. And I'm just telling, giving you guys that bit of information because it, what makes it a distorted thought is that he feels like everything bad that happens to him has to do with his father. And that is just absolutely not true. Okay. So, uh, he is having distorted thoughts about his father. He said, I bet this makes my father happy. Quite frankly, everybody gets these, um, these community guideline posts on their social media every now and again. Uh, Safari has been blocked off of his live video for 30 days. And Jocelyn Hernandez just got hers back after receiving the same post. And so it was sad. Okay, some of my um, exclusive tea for you guys. Not all of it because I, this this story goes a long way, okay? But he, he is speaking on some of what is exclusive as far as the tea that I have. He said, laughing in my elevator voice at false narrative, homosexual slander from the LGBTQ community itself. Looking eyes, crying emoji. He said, if you want me on your team, just say that. You don't have to lie to kick it. My booty entry space is still sacred and godly. When I step out, she be looking and many times her man be looking too. So if you guys want to call me bisexual because I find those moments intriguing or beautiful or pansexual first off. F with your titles and square A boxes that don't pay or promote me. None of you want smoke with me on any dimension or level, so all the lies and all the rumors of slander, defamation, libel. It's all welcomed, all in abundance. This cosmos has for me is welcome. The devil lives at his address. He says, okay, someone says in the comment section if it'll pop up uh, for me because I'm not sure exactly why things are moving slow on my end, but someone asked him, uh, says here, you, t um, hold up though. And he said, you two find to be in my bed. You trips come pray with me. Okay. Um, so they want that what she was saying, hold up though too, was the pansexual. And I'm going to go into detail about that with carry on Franklin on my Patreon. There is an entire story behind that that needs to be addressed and an entire incident that has not been made public as of now. And I'm hoping that it won't be between now and next week because I am waiting until next week's uploads to uh, let that cat out of the bag. It's already Friday, so we don't have too long to go. 
Carry on said, I'm really about to retire this page. Only fans just, uh, just about officially on the way. The Swank Circus. F this F.A. app. Ain't no B in me. Okay. Um, and they, someone said, why are they always hating on you? He said, because I'm not afraid to use the same magic they use. And in they, I guess he is talking about either uh, his father or he is talking about Instagram. And I'm going to let you know why I think that way. And it's because he addressed both of them on in this particular rant that he did. I go live for my safety. Just know my firearm ain't on safety. On ATG, it's a big bang, he said. My 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 life is lived strapped, just like all them other real N-words in your phone, he said. Why, why y'all don't fuck with me? Instagram. Why, why y'all don't fuck with me? I'm, I'm bloodline. Like, I'm legacy. Y'all fuck with my daddy, so Instagram, I demand y'all fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I show up to y'all doorstep, you feel me? Like, I'll come to HQ and, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll really do that, you know what I'm saying? Because you, 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 y'all not just going to dictate from behind my screen on some UI, UX shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's user interface, user experience, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I know it's some niggas in that building pressing buttons on my shit. Like, y'all niggas give my daddy all of the top quality shit. His shit ain't never buzzed out. His 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 uh his microphone volume ain't never going out. Why y'all fucking with me, Instagram? Y'all niggas is at HQ fucking with me. I'm a nice I'm, I'm a nice guy, bro. Okay, so that is what he had to say in regards to um, Instagram, and he demands that Instagram messes with him because he's legacy, he's bloodline. That is true. I don't see them doing that to other, you know, celebrities' kids. However, I don't also see other celebrities' kids constantly mentioning uh, the famous people that they are trying to use to promote their app and, and thank God that they are on their app so that their app can keep pushing forward and using the, uh, th- this app negatively against the people that make the app popular. So that could be one reason why, and or it could be that the family is requesting that they take down certain things, and uh, Instagram is making that happen, okay? But this young man, the way that he speaks makes me feel like he's he's on drugs, okay? I'm sorry. Why y'all fuck with me, Instagram? It really does. Instagram. Why, why y'all don't fuck with me? I'm, I'm bloodline. Like, I'm legacy. Y'all fuck with my daddy, so... Instagram, I demand y'all fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll show up to y'all doorstep, you feel me? Like, I'll come to HQ and, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll really do that, you know what I'm saying? Because you, 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 y'all not just going to dictate from behind my screen on some UI, UX shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's user interface, user experience, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I know it's some niggas in that building pressing buttons on my shit, like, Y'all niggas give my daddy all of the top quality shit. His shit ain't never buzzed out. His 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 uh his microphone volume ain't never going out. Why y'all fucking with me, Instagram? Y'all niggas is at HQ fucking with me. I'm a nice I'm, I'm a nice guy, bro. So and then also you got to be able to articulate yourself. This guy seems very intelligent when he brings up stuff like the a um UI UA you know user interface user experience um. He brings uh, UI UX. I'm sorry. He brings up um, very valid points. You know that that he's he is legacy, and you know as an interface user, you should be able to have the same perks and benefits and filters and you know top notch uh, quality that other users have, even if they are uh, celebrities or not. But then the way he speaks is like uh, my nigga, you know and. Y'all should fuck with me and, you know, I'll show up to your doorstep. And it's just those three sentences alone or those three terms alone makes me look at him sideways. It just truly does. Uh, And it takes away from what it is that he is actually trying to say. He said, if you sell your soul to the devil, I don't mind becoming Lucifer so I can make sure you good. Okay, those are the type of reasons why he is getting his um, post taken down. 
request review, when you request a review, blah, blah, blah. Then he goes and say, I'm the one being harassed and bullied. Y'all play twist so dang on much of me. Where's the real dang on twister game at? Let's do the Emma F and twist for real. He says, no content yet, but I'm already beginning the transi- transition and the new Swank Circus team. The first 100 people to tap into my OnlyFans as Swank Circus will receive a lovely discount and some other special ideas that I come up with. I'm ready to get weirder, okay? Get ready for the next chapter of Swank Circus. Follow me at OnlyFans. Okay, so I did go over to OnlyFans. I did look up Carrion Franklin. I did not find him. I am looking up Swank Circus, and hopefully I can find him, but nothing was found. Okay, so even after looking at, uh, up the Swank Circus, I could not find it. He did not drop a link for it. Um, so, unfortunately, I can't even find his OnlyFans. It's very unfortunate, but he's already on there following 26 people, which is really, really concerning for me because that is a subscription service which means that he is following and paying for 26 people on the uh, platform already unfortunately I don't know why I cannot find him I even typed in the swank circus at the swank circus and I cannot find it I guess he has decided that he didn't want to uh, do an OnlyFans and that he maybe changed his handle um, so that he couldn't be found. Who knows? But all I know is I'm praying for you, Carry On. I really, really feel like you need help, especially because I know what's been going on with you behind the scenes. I actually have proof of it. I have someone that I've spoken to. I have a whole receipt. And it, it's just, it's, it's really, really sad. It really is. But um, the boy is combative. Everything is Kurt Franklin's fault. And my goodness, my goodness, distorted thoughts. All right, new details now emerging on why Joe Budden and Sin Santana are not together and will not be back together any time soon. As we know, there were rumors that Joe Budden had broken up with Sin Santana because she didn't want to deal with the fact that he had things in his phone that she didn't want to see. She had brought up that there were some things in his phone of infidelity, but she never really told us what they were. She wouldn't go into great detail as to, I guess, save embarrassment for him. And now we have reason being. Joe Button has recently come out. And first of all, I just want to say there's been a lot, a lot happening with Joe Button on this love and hip hop platform from being on drugs to proposing to Tahiri to being rejected by Tahiri to then being in this relationship with Sin Santana and, you know, proposing to Sin Santana, becoming her fiance, to now something else has come up. And now we know exactly what it is. It turns out that Joe Button has come out as bisexual. Here is what he had to say, and I will be right back with my commentary. I'm bisexual. Fuck okay, it's okay now. You got okayed? He got okayed? How do I spread this news? How do I spread the word? I think you got to call the CEO. Yo, yeah, you listen. Gotta, you got to make sure it's okay. I like guys and girls. Spread the word. I'm down. Remember, this was... Okay, so this is such a really big deal because, first of all, let me just say, I've always seen Joe Button as metrosexual, but this is such a very big deal because in the hip-hop industry, it's very important that you have this macho man persona it's almost you know a a gay rapper or a gay person in the industry as far as this rapping portion is almost shunned up on it's something that is not really looked at in a positive light and there are a lot of people that worked around joe button that had no idea that he was bisexual at all that had no idea that he liked both men and women i want to give it to sin santana because she really did keep his secret and kept him protected which is why he respects her and everything that she does you know since antenna herself is bisexual but i think she was surprised when it was coming from joe button somebody who the industry definitely looks at a certain way which is definitely not bisexual metrosexual or anything else okay i think this is something that damaged their relationship to the point where there was no bringing it back 
And unfortunately, since Santana, you know, it, it's something that I think she wasn't prepared or ready for. Now they have a son, Lexington, together. And this is something that Lexington is going to have to deal with, which concerns me for the fact that Joe Button did come out. Now, first of all, do I feel like he should be living his life in a closet? Absolutely not. I feel like he should be celebrating who he is. But I also feel like he should have been truthful with the people that he has been with in the first place. And I also feel like this would explain some of his behavior from the past and why he continued to mess over some of the very best looking women and some of the most awesome relationships that he's ever had. Even the one with the young girl um, that that was with uh, Safari, uh, messing with Safari for a little while, knowing that he was married to Erica Mena. And yeah, they recycle each other. So it makes me wonder how many men have, you know, Joe Button been around and recycled, right? But even down to that girl, that woman, you know, he, she was really good for him. I believe her name was Kate or Katie or so. I can't remember right now, but even down to that woman, I know that that was a good woman and she was trying her best to be on Joe Button's side. And unfortunately it just did not, it just didn't happen the way they wanted it to. Also, it is rumored that at Joe Button and Sin Santana's baby shower, that he definitely acted feminine and kind of acted very metrosexual. I don't know if you guys remember in some of the scenes of Love and Hip Hop, New York, where Sin Santana first came on the scene with Joe Button and she was wondering why he didn't want her. Um, he wasn't being sexual with her. There was things that she was doing trying to, you know, get her rocks off, such as um, coming out with her boobs out and just being very sexy and he was not responding to those things. That all makes sense. But now I'm wondering who are his friends in the industry that knew this, that didn't say anything other than Sin Santana, um, other than, you know, a couple of other people. And, and, and how long has this been going on? How long has he identified with this? Because it could be that he identified with it long ago and was afraid to say something, or it could be that he just came to terms with himself as an older uh, man and, and has brought himself to this conclusion. Now, rumor was that he had cheated on Sin Santana with the model Jasma Kendrick, which turned out not to be true. Of course, there was so many speculations, and he was just basically saying his family is his family. And so it turns out that Joe Button and those images that Sin Santana actually saw in Joe Button's phone were not that of a woman, but in fact those of a man. All right, guys, leave comments. Let me know what you think. Okay, this is a little request story. Somebody wanted to know if I had a scoop on why Jessica Dime quit loving hip-hop and if her and Sean Williams were still together. So let's go ahead and talk about Jessica Dime really quickly. First of all, I cannot stand her social media posts on Twitter. I feel like they are that of a woman of less intelligence, even though I love Jessica Dime. I just had to say that because I really wish that she would do better with that. Anyway, the reason why Jessica quit love and hip hop was because production was trying to force her and her new fiance, Sean Williams, to have threesomes. Yes, according to reports, her and, uh, you know, she's a, she's a fan favorite, first of all. And people have been asking her why she quit the show for the longest. And I guess that's why people have been asking me or a person asked me. And so she finally decided to give a shocking answer um, in which I went and caught that. And now it is what it is. She said that the, the main production of the show was forcing her to and pressuring her is the word she used to have threesomes. Um, not on camera, but producing the producer himself, him or herself. Okay, so basically, um, she's saying that behind the scenes, there was production, and one of those production crew members was into her and Sean's relationship, and unfortunately was vetting them into a threesome behind the scenes, and she was never... Uh, comfortable with it and she decided to quit also as you guys know they did push back their wedding and that's a producer so I guess the producer uh, had something to do with that push back their wedding being aired on the show and I guess it was because of this um, rendezvous that the production was trying to get involved in with her and Sean Williams 
Remember, she was never really specific about why she wanted to leave after season seven. Um, she just said she wanted to spend more time with her fiance and their new baby blessing, who she never thought that she would actually have. She never thought she would have a fiance and she never thought that she would have a baby. OK, she also said she wanted to get her own reality show based around her marriage and her and Sean, um, you know, the theme that they would come up with for their wedding and show their their uh, plans leading up to their wedding, their actions leading up to their wedding. And that love and hip-hop kind of made that very hard for her. She wanted to chronicle her pregnancy like they did for Jocelyn Hernandez and things of that nature, and they never gave that to her. And I'm not sure if that part has to do with production or not, but what I do know is that unfortunately it never happened for her. And as a matter of fact, it seems like she's been blackballed. Now I've heard that her being blackballed has a lot to do with Jazzy Faye and the MF meeting that they had with Tiffany Fox and uh, Mimi Faust. I don't know if you guys remember that. Uh, she did disrespect Jazzy Faye and he's a big heavy hitter there in Atlanta and in the industry um, nationwide and internationally as well. And I did hear that he did have something to do with the fact that she might be canceled, y'all, okay? Sis might be blackballed. And that folks really don't like her around the Atlanta streets, okay? Anyway, um, she said she felt like there was an invasion of privacy when it came to her life. And that, you know, production was being too... Um, aggressive with her specifically one person in production in, in particular and that it was a woman um in her final season of love and hip-hop she let the cameras film her ups and downs with sean and the fact that you know she was becoming a parent for the first time they had gotten engaged this that and the other um and she started to get to the point where she started to feel like she was above certain people like carly red whereas first she was acting you know, equal to Carly Red. Then all of a sudden it was like, you going to find love too. And it was like, you know, she tried to play a different role. And I guess they just wasn't with that on camera. They wanted her to continue to be the ghetto person that she was. And they wanted to pry even deeper into her life. And see, that could be another reason why they didn't want to go on with allowing her to uh, move forward with spinoffs is because she didn't want to bring it to love and hip hop initially. She wanted it all, only on the spinoff and that could have been their way of just wanting to introduce it. And unfortunately that was something that did not happen anyway. So fans have been asking her why she left for two years. And that was um, the response that she gave, uh, you know, which was very shocking. I will say because that sexual harassment allegation is very, very serious. Um, she said in a tweet, she said, cause I wouldn't sign management deals. Didn't go to the reunion cause they let the EP get her makeup done by my makeup artist instead of me. Oh, and I wouldn't have threesomes with producers. L M A O. Now we all know this is a funny industry. We know how this industry works and Lord, we all know this is a hot mess. Okay. Now the management deals and the misuse of her makeup are, uh, artists, those are kind of big deals, but not really. They wanted her to sign with Mimi. They wanted her to be able to speak to people in the industry like Jazzy Faye and take their show to the next level. And it didn't happen for her. And that is very unfortunate because I think they put a lot of faith in uh, Dime Peace to revamp the show when Carly Red went to Miami and bought her back out here with Don. Um, I think they had a lot of um, hope in her to, to, you know, catapult the show. And when she got into it with Jazzy Faye and wouldn't sign with Mimi, I think those things were very disappointing, but she was very popular on the show. Her popularity has grown since she's left on social media. Um, not in the industry cause she has not been doing any shows. Okay. But, um, they said that they were going to do a another reunion um some type of 10 year reunion where they were going to bring back everybody and i'm hoping that they will bring back jessica dime as well as we know they've left her out of all the family reunion shows which i thought was crazy because she shared the beginning of her pregnancy on the show with them and um more and more okay but anyways um i would think that she would want to hold these production people uh, who are who are harassing her, S.E. actually accountable for those actions, especially in the Me Too era where you don't have to deal with stuff like that or have threesomes with producers to um, 
to make it out here in the streets. Is it surprising that that is part of the industry? Absolutely not. We do have our Weinsteins and Epsteins and also other names that I can name going on out here. Powerful figures that, you know, men and women, um, you know, that have been out here accused of some of the same things. And it's very unfortunate but those are the things that are going on in the industry today. So anyways, a couple of weeks ago, Jessica Dime and Sean were sitting at a restaurant in Atlanta. And unfortunately, because of who she is, uh, they decided to chow blackball her from, from good customer service at the restaurant. She ended up cussing a lady out, getting into it with her. Shout out to my contributor, Try Me Not Today. Here are those videos. I'll be right back with my commentary. She said, uh, what well, we want to order cause ain't nobody else gonna come over here. They act like it's a packed house. Bitch, I done been a waitress at the airport and everywhere else. And a motherfucker ain't never act like this. Hold on, how I flip my motherfucking camera around? What's wrong? We in this live, you can't flip your camera around no more? Hold up. Hey, y'all. Hi. Yes. Yes. Y'all know I don't never do this, but this whole got me fucked up. Right playing wrong beach. Y'all like? No, but that shit ain't And then you come over here laughing. Is, is this the professional? What's going on? Look at her. You got employees working here like this? Screaming and hollering at the customers, running around like she doing us a favor. She not doing us no favor. I'm not. Okay. You been talking? Was she not talking to you? You can talk loud enough for us to hear you, though. What y'all disrespectful ass? She need to go home. She need a break. She need a break. Like, I've been a waitress before, and she need a break. It's too much on her. Or she need to go work for the WWF. Because that hotel system motherfucker don't end up somewhere fucked off. There, yes, you is with that synthetic weed on. Sweating like a damn slave. I got y'all. What y'all really eat? They want to drink. Not from her. All right, mate. What y'all got? I just want a glass of wine, a Cabernet. Cabernet. What you want to have here? Yeah, we ain't gonna eat here, baby. We ain't gonna eat here. Y'all just heard that she said, ain't nobody else gonna. This is so ghetto. You try to come to support these businesses, and it's just terrible. It's ter Look at them. It's just terrible. I mean, Pearl Oyster House, y'all. It's a damn shame. It ain't even nobody in here either, man. I can't, I can't, I've been a waitress before. So I have respect, but this is pitiful. You the manager. You the manager. Where the manager is? Y'all, I'm in Pearl Oyster House in Memphis, y'all. This sh is sad. Just sad and get up. Y'all know I don't She said, uh, what we want to order because ain't nobody else going to come over here. <laughs> they act like it's a packed house. Y'all done been a waitress at the airport and everywhere else. And a motherfucker ain't never act like this. Hold on, how I flip my motherfucking camera around? Y'all, do this look like somebody need to be sweating and slaving in here? No, it do not. It ain't nobody even in here. I'm just saying, man. 
Now how I turn it back around. Y'all get on my nerves. Y'all know I don't ever do this, but this hoe got me fucked up. Right playing wrong. Y'all like? And then you coming over here laughing. Is this the professional? What's going on? Look at her. You got employees rocking here like this? Screaming and hollering at the customers, running around like she doing us a favor. She not doing us no favor. I'm not. Okay. You been talking. Well, she not talking to you. You can talk loud enough for us to hear you, though. It's so disrespectful. She need to go home. She need a break. She need a break. I've been a waitress before, and she need a break. It's too much on her. Or she need to go work for the WWF. She need to be a wrestler, because that hoe tough as a mother don't end up somewhere fed off. Girl, yes, you is with that synthetic weed on. Sweating like a damn slave. I got y'all. What y'all really eat? I ain't want to drink. Yeah, not from her. All right, mate, what y'all got? I just want a uh, glass of wine, a Cabernet. Cabernet. What you want to have here? A glass of red wine, a Cabernet. That hoe sweating like a slave. I ain't did nothing. Just running around here telling people what she doing. What y'all going to eat? We ain't going to eat. It's pitiful. Okay, so, right? Now y'all know tomorrow I'm gonna call corporate. Y'all know I'm gonna call corporate tomorrow. Call it corporate. <laughs> I get everything up, careful. manager just came over here and he came over here talking about y'all all right smiling and laughing. I want to talk to the owner at this point. I can't argue with the help. I got the car corporate. Because it ain't going to be that. Nah, I just seen him fix this wine. I'm gonna drink this wine, baby. But eating no food up out here won't happen. So disrespectful. And I wanted fried oysters, but I'm just over it. Lord. Jesus. I'm just strong. I'm too classy for this man. I don't do this type of carrying on and screaming and hollering anymore. He me down this like so they get an attitude. I'm the nicest person in the world. Yeah, you know we went wrong. <laughs> you been here the whole time. You tapping in the air like I ain't nobody finna deal with that girl. Oh, I'm like, I'm I'm like, I'm like, she mad. She said she doing everything. Y'all got her f***ed up. So y'all need to. She don't need to be the one working. Her hoe is just hot and mad. She need a break. She need to go home. Cause she gonna come from the mama. You gonna get them folks in trouble. Them folks gonna get in trouble. I'm calling corporate. Okay. I don't give a fuck what he give us free. I'm scared to eat. I ain't got it. Table dirty. I'm like, can you wipe the table? She got like mad about that. Lesson. Like, you gonna get your twin eye chip. You gonna get a tip, Don't make your whole day worthwhile. Hey. Baby. Baby. Could scream and holler and cuss it and do whatever to them people at Ruth Chris and they ain't gonna say a word and Chick fil A too. They just gonna say yes, ma'am. Yeah, Chick fil A gonna say my pleasure, ma'am, after you call them to the hoes. Come on, drop the old one, huh? <laughs>
Nah, she gone in the back now. She gonna calm down, I guess, and went and wipe this sweat off her mother face. Rub well, must be stinking. Save the teeth. I was a waitress. I had, I had my t-shirt on. My t-shirt was up, baby. So I can make sure my tips was right. <laughs> So after Jessica Dime and Sean Williams went on marriage boot camp, they did unfortunately take a break from their relationship. And fortunately for them, they have been able to get it back together. They've come together. They haven't gotten married yet because, like I said, they needed to take a pause, which a lot of couples do. I don't blame them at all, one bit whatsoever. I'm actually glad they took a pause, took a tick, and then came back together because that could be even healthier for uh, their relationship than just trying to force it to to be something that it's not but these two have been together for quite some time her mother was his teacher in school they've known each other forever so they were able to bring it back together and here is sean williams detailing what their plans are for the future so they are still going strong congratulations to them here's that video leave comments in the meantime i'll see you in the comments section honey like and subscribe i don't think my accent works than yours ready to go yeah i'm ready where did money go? You put it in your oh, pocket, junkie. Like, you could disrespect me, right? Before, before we go down. Watch your mouth, man. Why is I disrespecting you? 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 Hey, what what been in? What been in? Huh? What my boy with the uh, mom? Man. The manager. Oh, that man. Yeah. Right there with the mom. Yeah, come on. Oh, that's the one. Yeah. 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 I heard just like none of that food. You got a bean in the I got these. No, we never had no bean. We ain't never had no bean. You didn't eat it though. Hey, everybody had a bean in this ass. The T Rock. Ah, man, he is shit on the stick. Me too. Right. Oh, I ain't on it's all good, bitch. It's all good. Nah, I'm done. It's all good. It's all down hooping. I'm dunking on her. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm dunking on her. That's the only one. That's the only one. This pretty ass motherfucker. Oh, right here. So pretty to me, man. Cat, y'all don't understand how pretty she is to me. Yeah, she is so pretty. Yeah, she is Yeah, we're gonna have more you kids. We're gonna have five kids. We're gonna have a star lineup. You showing me? Yes. We're gonna have five <laughs> kids. I don't know about that. I don't think my pussy can take five kids. Pussy can take five kids. No, no, no. You can take this thing here. You can take some kids. Gladiator. You know me? No, it's on me, man. I look better than you was before. No, it's back on you. I don't take the show. It's your show, man. It's whatever you. It's your word. I just live in here. Don't be trying to gas me. I just live in your word. You hear me? I just live in your word, baby. That's dive time. It's too dark here. They don't even see you with no makeup. That's how I want them to see you. Our six be lit. It be so slimy and sloppy. Ooh, that be so sloppy. You know, I'm a taster. You know, I'm a taster. Like, I, well, I'm gonna call it muck diving. I dive in, no, I scuba dive, baby. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> So I'm diving in that thing, time first. Oh my God, Time first, look at that thing, look at that Come on, go in the light, you ready to go? Come on, let's go in the light. You finished, ain't it? Yeah, you finna, you wanna, you wanna walk it down? 
What you doing with that? You better go back to the room. What you want, this? I ain't even drink that. I don't care nothing about that show dreams. You can't dictate. Listen, you can't dictate what I do. I'm the man. I wore the pants in this relationship. You ain't finna get drunk, I know that. Take it how you want. Playing me, man, before we get to arguing all that. She said, I'm so, you see that how she be doing a nigga mine? That shit ain't right. Yeah, I don't have to deal with it. I have to deal with it. She ain't right. She so judgmental. She She's too judgmental of me, man. I am a spirit. See, there you go. Yeah, he's cranked up now. He's cranking up now. You finished. Are you finished? Are you finished? Are you finished? Are you finished? See? You finna style with me. I'm ready to go. <laughs> she is so pretty, man. God. Yeah, we married, fool. You tripping, poor girl. <laughs> <laughs> Why poor girl always be on everybody pain? That's one of them hoes fake pains. Trolling. Yeah. This shit, she man, we been, we went to the courthouse. This shit real. Oh, no. I don't to do this shit on TV. I been had her a long time ago. Y'all tripping? Y'all sleep? For all you other niggas who think y'all can have something going on around this way, this shit run deep. I don't think nobody think that. She gator mud around here. This shit thick like gator that. mud. I don't think they think that. They ain't got the thrill of that. The thrill of it come with me don't come with them. Here you go. It's a thrill coming with me. The thrill is not gone. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you. I cannot take you. I'm so sick of your shit. I ain't eat nothing else tomorrow. You're going to eat one more thing, that purple pickle. Oh, my God. <laughs> that purple pickle. Yeah, we've been married for a long time, y'all. We've been we went to the courthouse. This shit was I said it she won't fuck with me unless you knew I was serious because I got some bad experience with my yeah, wife. She no, she done clowned on me all through the NBA summer leagues and she done did some shit for me. She done, she a motherfucker. Don't try to tell it like I'm all just a way, bad person. All the way from King of Diamond days. You were just a you a motherfucker. You ain't fit to fuck with, man. Like, to don't play with. To make, don't try to make it seem like I'm just an animal. We ain't no animal, but you just, you can't play with you like that. Somebody's about to what happened to toy. Don't even answer no shit like this. What you think? I have. <laughs> she happened to toy. Shit, that was the end. Nah, she left me, though. That was what she said. Yeah. No, because we ain't, we, ain't, we ain't get married on them type of terms. Motherfucker left me. So get what? I left them too and went to the baddest one. You know what I'm saying? If she ain't in your top five, y'all sleep. She ain't my number one. But she might be y'all top five. If she ain't in y'all top five, y'all listen. It's not legitimate. But this one right here, look at it, man. You know what I'm Let me start. I'm finna start coaching. I'm finna, I'm finna get up out this live because this shit gonna live forever. I'm finna coach. I'm gonna coach her no, you to a winning season. <laughs> I'm gonna coach her in this basketball season. Look at you. Suck your fingers. You gotta, you gotta leave your life out here, man. Why is for real? Just for that. What they call you? Just for that. You ready to go? You through with that? You just put the camera back on me for a while. That's enough for my wife. We're going to put on all the fans. I got to pay $39.99. No, he ain't going to put me on nothing. Just to see you talk, you got to pay $39.99. Man, I'm tired of you just being so humble. I said I ain't humble. And I'm very humble. I can really start on some motherfuckers, but I don't. Oh, yeah, you can really do it. They don't understand. I don't. I be real humble. They don't understand what's going on. 
Run the whole spot. <laughs> he hell. I'm gonna come back. What's your name again? Bud, man. Bud, well, got you, well, Where are you from? South North Memphis. North Memphis. North Memphis. North Memphis. Yeah, you know my nigga D. 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 Damn. Yeah, he's yeah. be with us. Okay. My brother named Big Will. Kid. Okay. Well. Okay. That's big. my bro. Big. Big. Well. Yeah. yeah. Well, from from North Memphis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm on last. Say no more though. Okay. What off uh over there uh, off Giant Road and shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about the Columbia did and shit and all that shit. Yeah, cause y'all had you know what y'all was doing out there. You know what y'all was doing. I got out there when I started doing. Now I'm gonna come back and fuck with you, P. I, I appreciate you, you bro. Say no more. I gotta get out laughing and listen to a song. All right, bye, y'all. I'm holler at y'all, man. I'm deep to in here, too. I got 70 people listening to what's coming out of my mouth. Oh, Lord. I cannot take you. Here you go. Man, we gone, man. My wife said we gotta get out. Guess what? So I'm gonna listen to her. She listening to me. <laughs>